copy of uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, today I posted my last uh, video. Um, so, uh, I didn't jump right into the game because I was really sleepy, but uh, later on uh, I was playing was probably in the AM for like five hours, just trying to get a feel for the game. Like, at first I was completely lost with the controls. I had to get uh, really used to it. So now, um, pretty much got it. Uh, there are uh, a few issues I have with the game, but uh, overall, uh, I really enjoy playing it. Uh, so, while uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was a great first attempt at bringing three character models in a uh, action uh, fighting game on a 2D plane or whatever, uh, they really need to uh, pass the game and make some changes. Um, you know, uh, for some reason, I got this impression that, uh, from what Seth Killian said, like the that there was gonna have some really uh, epic story mode or something. Uh, I expected there to be like cutscenes during the stages, but uh, as far as story goes, all I've seen are those uh ep those trailers they released like episode one two three and four uh that's the only i guess uh movies or effort they put into a story uh so each character does have uh their own ending uh it's, um some artwork and some text but uh there's no real story uh, there at all. Uh, so I was kind of disappointed with that. Another issue I have is that uh, X Factor uh, can be really, really ridiculous. Uh, man, <laughs> I mean, it's good for some situations, like you know, cancel out the moves and it helps you from uh, not taking chip damage, but you have a strong character and a great rush down uh, and uh, some luck you can beat the crap out of uh, three fighters with just one but this is only if you have a level three X factor which means you only have one character and you have to go for broke but uh, there was a combo video I was watching some guy did a uh, uh, crossover combination with all three of his characters this guy blocked X factored out of the uh, block stun, then did his uh, level three with Hope, wiped out the whole team with one fucking move. X factor level three. I was like, that's the, that shit don't even make no sense, man. That's worse than Ultras and Super Street Fighter Four. You get rewarded for getting your ass kicked, and you get this comeback move. It's just so devastating. It's like, damn, man. Okay, now. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about how this game plays online. Uh, every match, no matter how good your connection, will always be slower than the actual game runs offline. Uh, you know they have a, the training mode, you have the option with, uh, you can uh, practice with lag or whatever. Uh, if you really <laughs> want to know what it's like, set the bars to maybe three or four, and four is kind of pushing it sometimes. Like that game, it's like trying to move your characters through a swamp or some quicksand. It just, man, there's like a delay you can put on everything. Online is uh, bearable, but you cannot, you are never going to see high level play online. I'm sorry, they do an online tournament, that's fail right there. I guarantee it, it's fail. So don't even consider that at the moment. Uh, right now there's no spectator mode, no replay save feature. Uh, honestly, if there was a spectator mode in the game, it would probably move a lot slower. So I really don't want that mode, but I would love to save my replays. So I've done some crazy shit. Uh, it might be considered really cheap, uh, pussy-like, <laughs> uh, just running and assisting and stuff. But still, man, it's like... Um, I, got, I guess I got that mentality. It's like a projectile-heavy game and keep away, but 
Like, uh, granted, you can do some rush down with the right assist. You got to protect your assist. Like, uh, there's a lot of ways to play it, a lot of uh, experimenting to do. But uh, if you do not like chasing people or uh, basically keep, like having a keep away, you have, your rush down has to be godlike. And I, I don't really see it being that way online, but there it's quite easy to uh, play keep away. Uh, a rush down is good as long as you have the right assist. Uh, I, I've just been messing around with characters coming up with weird combinations of characters that don't go together. You wouldn't think, but with, the, with their assists combined, the way they help each other and they match, like, it, it's, it's great. Typically, like, the, I usually have one lead character that does all the work. Uh, uh, my second character is pretty much an assist, and then I have, like, a third character for straight up. I'm running away from you and I'm going to try to chip you to death. That is my whole strategy. Like, uh, the first character is pretty much uh, the meat and potatoes uh, of, of my team. But uh, I'm just saying, man, the right character with the right assist, you can go to work. So, uh, the trophies are fucking so easy to get. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, you honestly... Probably the hardest thing to do as far as trophies is completing the mission mode. Uh, but even then, you don't even have to do all of them. You just have to do 320 to get every single trophy. Like uh, right now, it's probably hard to get any of the online trophies if you're trying to do it through ranked or uh, probably just ranked. Because I've been uh, playing a few people on my friends list. Uh, and uh, they, they don't seem to enjoy the game as much as I do, I don't know. Um, they, they, they vary in skill level. Uh, it's, it's kind of like Marvel vs. Capcom 3 can go really well or really bad depending on how uh, the match goes. And like you really have to think of like shit on the fly. Uh, well, at least that's the way I do it. I just make up shit as I go sometimes. But um... Yeah, I uh, I don't think Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is a game uh, for everybody. It's like either you're you're either gonna love it or hate it, and if you hate it, you're not gonna play it unless you're a pro gamer. Like, I'm just saying that right now, just because that's what it's just a, a another tournament that you could win. But if you really hate it, like man, you're not, you're not gonna like Marvel vs. Capcom 3. They need to. Uh, really 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 uh work on it i mean there's gonna be some changes i guarantee it. there's just no way they can leave uh this game the way it is right now uh so what else well there was some uh uh hacked footage somebody hacked their copy of uh marvelous Capcom 3 and uh found jill on there and found a way to actually make her playable even though uh She's not, she's not a complete character, she's missing some things, but they, they, there's an actual footage of her in the game. I, I guess it'll give you a, a kind of an idea of the way she plays. Uh, Maybe if you don't take games too seriously, 
Uh, he might be fun if you just go nuts. Like, if you suck at this game, man, don't even be ashamed at putting it on simple mode. That's probably the only way you stand a chance. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I guess that's my uh, review of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, don't believe the hype. Do not believe the hype. Uh, I, I actually like the game. I'm going to play it. I'm going to try to, uh, you know, come up with some crazy teams. And uh, I'm, I'm going to enjoy it. Um, but yeah, man. It is not perfect. If I, if I, if I rate the game on a scale of 1 to 10, missing online features, whack-ass connectivity issues, no replay, uh, slow gameplay online, I honestly would give the game probably a 7.5 out of 10. Man, you, should, you probably should save yourself some money and just get Marvel's Capcom 2 on live and PSN and just play that. You probably have more fun, to be honest. But uh, I love fighting games and I accept them for the way that they are, the way they're supposed to be played. And, uh, but I mean, if it doesn't really fit your play style, you probably just pass it up. We got Kills on 3 coming out, man. Just get that game, man. But yeah, I guess I'm going to go. I just wanted to put my thoughts out there out about more words Capcom 3. So I'm going to go. Uh, uh, I'll, I, oh, snap. I finally pre-ordered uh, Mortal Kombat uh, Tournament Edition. Uh, hopefully the game will be uh, really awesome. Uh, so now me and my brother will both have TE sticks. Granted, one specifically designed for uh, Mortal Kombat and one made for Street Fighter, but can uh, have the panel replaced with a MK Life Arcade uh, setup. But uh, I guess that's it, man. I'm gonna go, man. I was like, I just been, I just went nuts. Uh, this is rambling on about Marvel's Cap on 3, but yeah. I'm gonna go, peace. Finish him. Luke Kang wins. Fatality.